This snake here, this is a Burmese python. It's one of the largest snakes in the world when they're fully grown. This is actually a juvenile here. It's about two and a half, three years old. So it's still considered a very small snake for its size. They can grow up to 20 feet long in the wild when they're fully grown. They are able to have drastic remodeling of their heart or changes in their heart and their metabolic organs, such as their liver, when they consume a meal. I do many different experiments depending on what needs to be done for the next step of what we're trying to discover. I did come up with my own project at one point that involved seeing how these animals behave in terms of obesity. In people, we've seen what happens with the obesity epidemic. In these snakes, that project came out to show that they just grow really fast. They don't actually really become obese or they don't really have negative side effects. I do want to go into graduate school, that I do want to get a PhD. And this experience will be invaluable that when I enter graduate school, I know my way around a lab. I know how to work a lot, a lot of the equipment. I know how good experimental design is done, things that you would do and not do to have good experiments, as well as how to interact with your peers. Working in a lab, depending on the lab you're in, can be a very collaborative effort. A lot of these projects can get very complicated, and each person is divvied up to have one small aspect of it. And it's learning that culture that will really be invaluable when going to grad school, as I'll be able to jump right in and not have to pick all that up. I've picked that up in the last two years working here.